A downtown Tampa high-rise apartment flooded from the 27th floor down. Residents were told to evacuate as water rushed through hallways and seeped down stairwells. Well, certainly a frightening situation that now has many left stranded. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee is joining us live. Heather, you've been at that entrance to the element all afternoon. Tell us what's the latest. Well, folks have been able to go up and collect their valuables. We're talking medication, important documents. Some had to even go up and get their animals because they weren't able to get them when they evacuated this morning. Uh, but again, the question right now is how bad is the damage and how long will it take to fix it? A terrifying message loud and clear over the intercom. An emergency has been reported in the building. While this report is being verified, please leave the building using the exit stairway. Residents living in the high-rise apartment complex, The Element, in downtown Tampa, say they were first woken up by the sound of a distant alarm around 3.30 a.m. Many, thinking nothing of it, actually went back to bed. Nick Abbott went to investigate and saw fire trucks along the street. We came back up to our apartment and it was soaked all on our carpet and there was water coming through our ceiling, so we knew something was up. Around 5 a.m., residents say the alarm was now going off in their actual apartments and they were being told to evacuate. Brandon Gelfin grabbed his phone, keys, and wallet and made his way towards the staircase. Well, that's when I kind of realized that it was a big deal because water was flowing down, people were getting soaked, um, and it was, it was mayhem. A lot of people were freaking out, carrying their pets. He says people were panicked and confused. One person who lives on the 26th floor tells us they had water gushing out of electrical sockets and air vents. Another on the 12th floor says it looked like a waterfall pouring from the ceiling right outside their front door. And of course, many immediately began thinking about the tragedy in Surfside. You know, started worrying, thinking this is another like Miami situation. So hearts started racing, all of that, and people were freaking out. We were just scared at first with everything that, thing that happened in Miami with that building. So we were, you know, I think everyone was a little worried and everyone got out of there thinking the building might come down. You know, it's such a big building, 35 floors. That panic subsiding once everyone was evacuated and Tampa Fire Rescue told residents what they believe happened. Two water main breaks on the 12th and 27th floor. And while the complex has extensive water damage, apartment management sent an email to residents assuring them, quote, in no way does this flooding threaten the structural integrity of the building. The only thing I am worried about is my cat. Um, I don't really have anything in there that can't be replaced at the end of the day. All that's in there is clothes, a bed, and some furniture. And the cat is the only living thing that... I really need to get out of there. Elizabeth Cahill tells us apartment management got her a hotel room across the street. The apartment complex says it will put people up in temporary housing if necessary. Now, of course, residents are just worried about what they'll be able to salvage. Of course, uh, it depends on how much flooding was in each apartment. It will be likely different for each resident. But we know Surf Pro is inside there right now. They've been inside there all day, basically assessing the damage and mitigating the situation. As soon as we get an update from them or the apartment complex, we will let you know. For now, we're live. Heather Lee, ABC Action News.